low our price operations on ice interest rates are sky high money's so hard to get thanks collapsing subprime mortgages defaulting at best the country's waiting what will the fed do board of governors meeting interest rates coming through the lower the fed funds rate or not by the seven members of this committee that have debated and fought because the dollar is high exports dropping like flies on janet yellen's decision our economy relies because our products are pure expensive in foreigners eyes our ad curve is shifting left we realize that GDP's contracted unemployment inflation like worse their relation is inverse situation is perverse easy money's the answer what the fed will do the lower the discount rate reserve ratio too banks will get deposits reserves come to be excess supply of loanable funds will be increasing real fast interest rates will decline businesses will invest more if investment goes up then gdp will surely grow if all goes to plan two years from today if investment goes up along with workers pay and government spending on public projects increases and consumers get back up off of the streets i repeat the only way to correct this economic mishap the only way we can fend off this recessionary gap the only way to get unemployment to scale back is expansionary monetary policy get it jenny they use the money the faster we grow they use the money the faster we grow they use the money the faster we grow they use the money the recession is through Six years of easy money, the markets are booming, our company's back on top, but the economy is not, it's unstable, the bubble can burst at any minute, that was too accommodative and excessive lending, sending our markets so close to the edge, they're overheating, God Frank tried, but companies still cheated, cause our regulation only solves the problems of our past, issues of our future won't be solved until the next act. Alan Greenspan and Robert Schiller, in fact, will both agree that irrational exuberance is back. Cause it's evident investors are not hesitant to invest. They just borrow for nothing and pick it. He explains the rest. Because R is greater than G, capital will always be rising. But it's not surprising that this herd mentality to equity is dangerous and hazardous. As bubbles form, we must reform our system so we don't repeat the fatal crash 2008. As the price is in the sky, Janet tries to warn us. The stock prices are wild, but we're wide. To think that we're geniuses. When our stocks be hitting new highs Cause most of stock action is luck But we don't give a fool We're taking money out of treasuries Looking for yield But we're really creating an economic minefield A time bomb that's ready to explode Because the Fed was too afraid to raise the Fed funds rate They failed They use the money the faster we grew They use the money the faster we grew They use the money the faster we grew They use the money, the faster we grew. They use the money. history is renewed Savings and a capital and flow Put more in the market, make real interest rates get low Loanable funds Loanable funds I've been getting borrowed money, loanable funds Uncle Sam don't take too much, less crowding out should come It's good to pay off debt, but this fact will always stand To drop investment spending needs to drop AG demand The GDP is less, inflation gets a rest Unemployment rises and the squad will be jobless Be careful when you change, interest and spending Consumers and investors are susceptible to less link The input of their money into our economy And that my friends would be quite worse than Hitler's Nazi army Gotta cop some cash and then raise up its demand Jack up our real interest rates, highest in the land And if it comes about, man, even if we pout At least we got that sweet cash flow to pump our products out Now let's take a gander at the graph representation Of borrowers and lenders around the U.S. nation Demand and supply, crisscross left to right Intersection at the equal lib, quantity and price Price to borrow money, definition of interest Maybe snag some green if young Bergman will let us I've been getting borrowed money, loanable funds our business needs the capital, so I be on the run. So without barn and lending, our economy be done. But watch out for real interest rates because they'll move a ton. Loanable funds. Loanable funds.
the labor market's getting tight as unemployment's getting close to none. That's bad. Wages inflating. MFC is escalating. Labor market's getting tighter. Now I run a firm, but I can't afford to pay. Cost push, wages rising, taking money for my profits. Inflation, supply running short, in fact, the markets. Labor market's getting tighter. Now I run a firm, but I can't afford to pay. Him. Inflation, wage rising, taking money for my profits. What I gonna do? Cut the cost. The wage of unskilled workers is elastic. Can't get away with keeping work or wages static. I can hire children. I think I'm gonna move my operations, go to China where the labor's always cheap and the yuan is never climbing. I swear I'll keep jobs at home. But other countries print money, making money hard to make in the USA. Quantitative easing. They use an open market operations, buying bonds to depreciate the yuan against the dollar. That's just wrong. Labor market's getting tighter. Now I run a firm, but I can't afford to pay him. Cost push wages rising, taking money from my profits. Inflation, supply running short, infected markets. Chinese yuan is getting cheaper. U.S. multinationals are getting weak. My firm's ABC is floating just below my price. I'm moving operations to China to cut costs. Our sales are looking to GDP. My former workers will be living on the street. 2015 economic conditions got me struggling to survive. Got my company on the brink. Got a call up my good janitor to save me so I don't sink. Labor market's getting tighter. Now I run a firm, but I can't afford to pay him. Cost push wages rising, taking money from my profits. Inflation, supply running short, infected in markets. Labor market's getting tighter. Now I run a firm, but I can't afford to pay him. Inflation wages rising, taking money from my profits. I think I'm moving operations to China to cut costs. Now,我的中文名字叫毛志龙 
strange theory Deranged theory, something economic Phenomenon, revolutionary Not one guy, but two players up in this bitch Multiple frames should work together to get rich The best for one may not always be decidable It may take two to maximize a business goal The best price for both firms regarding consumers One picks one, then the other makes his choice even sooner If you want something, you may have to wait Another firm's choice will impact what you can gain Operations key for success in the market Oligopolistic firms do it and benefit Tit for tat, do something and get reciprocated Go to bad, how you play is how you're faded Don't cheat, they'll be watching your sheets And if you do, they'll pull the rug from under your feet Hope to have a dominant strategy The best day, you'll stay right there no matter the other's way If it's low or high, left or right You'll always choose one, not the other Aight, if you make more profit by method A over B Choosing the latter would just be crazy Dominant strategy, the name of the game But if you don't have one, you can succeed all the same The Nash equilibrium can always be attained Where the two firms' choices lead, they will remain It's the end goal, it's the end all Where a co-op oligop succeeds in a miracle